welcome back. So following on from the last video, I thought I'd do a quick speed build on the interior. Um, so I'm starting off with the, the stairs, they're going to connect the floors. Um, and I've sped it up a little bit this time, it's at 800 speed instead of 600 like the last one. So let me know how that works out. Um, I started off with a normal staircase and then I put the glass in the middle and the uh, black slab or the black uh, wedge in the middle and then obviously you do them front and back and then continue up uh, I'd always take you from the middle and all the floors are the same height I think except for one um, and that forms a nice little staircase going up all the stairs there obviously if you want to fly you can just fly if you want to drop down, you can drop down. Um, so yeah, the top level I already showed, I uh, put a sort of alien botanical garden in there. Just plants, various different biomes. I don't know if I'll keep that, but uh, it looks cool. So yeah, I'll have that. I think I colour coded all the floors in the end as well. You can see I've put the gravity in the same place on each floor. So I'm just going around doing some colouring. Um, and yeah, so I thought it was I was hard. I thought, oh, I've got a load of floors, great. I've got some rooms, and I'd never really built any rooms because all my other ships, they just had a really small little cockpit, you know, bunker-style piloting. But I thought, no, I'm going to actually do an interior on this one. And uh, right now, what you're seeing here is the uh, the brig for holding aliens and criminals. So, I've used a crystal on the floor with a bit of water and it make, gives that sort of uh, force field effect. Um, and then a couple of plex doors I think I put in yet. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Chuck some red lighting up as well because it made the uh, water reflect even better. And then I put some white hull down to mark the path. So yeah. Oh yeah, that's right, red lighting. I could decide where to put it. <laughs> but in the end I just went with it going all the way along the ceiling. It took me a while of messing around to decide what I was going to do with that one. Right, okay, so now we're making the med lab. And I took this idea from uh, Adam Clark. He, I saw a picture on his Twitter. And um, he did something similar his were vertical and I think his would work mine don't work because <laughs> the door gets in the way and you can't activate the weapons computer you know my idea was people could uh, sort of get in and hit the weapons computer and they're like in cryo sleep <laughs> and it took me ages of messing around to get the computers to look right I used a couple of decorative panels which I've never really used the decorative panels before and um, they came in really useful so you're messing around with different configurations. You should have seen it when I got to the, doing the seats on the bottom floor. I had about every single combination of wedge and block you could think of. Right, so here's the monitoring screen for uh, their uh, life signs. It goes on the wall. And then the control panel goes on the end. And uh, here I've made like a main control console. I thought, oh, I'll put it there and it didn't look right. So I ended up putting it back here. I was going to steal some chair designs as well, but I had no internet access when I was doing this. So now we come to doing the storage section, and I'll be honest, I think I'm going to skip the rest, and you can check it out in the next one. Uh, in the next video, it will be finished, and I'll be showing you around. So it won't be a speed build, um, but I thought I'd test out with a higher speed once again. Thanks for watching.